most everybody else reads about history. She's been a part of it, of history, since the day she was born. Even though she was a teenager when she was in the White House, she had many jobs to do. And I think it, it bespoke LBJ's faith in his daughter that he would allow her to go out in the hustings and represent him, be a sort of a surrogate for uh, him and Lady Bird. The LBJ initials that were my father's are my own as well. It's a mighty privilege, but it's a weighty responsibility. So I try to have my life's work reflect well on them because to whom much is given, much more is expected. She works tirelessly for cause after cause when she could easily just fade into the background and live happily ever after. But she's never satisfied with that. She's always trying to make the community and the state and the, and the nation a better place. She's a very prestigious person coming from an extraordinarily prestigious family, but she has involved herself time after time in what I call little programs, programs at the street. So she gets that from her father. Lyndon Johnson knew race and poverty personally. The hungry children that he taught going to sleep because they didn't have enough to eat. He vowed if he ever had an opportunity to do something about that situation, he would do it. I think Lucy's continuing the work of her father that he began as soon as he got out of college, uh, working with poor kids in Texas. She was a very large contributor to the scholarship funds for uh, migrant worker students here. Campus has done an extraordinary job of growing young people out of cotton fields and giving them an open door to co college education. After she graduated, she created the Lucy Baines Johnson Honorary Scholarship for others to go to New College just as she did. Lucy demonstrates a commitment to education and for experiences of young people. The National Park Service very much is aware that our future depends on young people appreciating what's in those parks. She is an active participant in our education programs. And it's made such an incredible difference in our success in the last seven, eight years. We've made some significant progress. We just can't rest on those laurels. Lucy has a great feeling, I think, particularly for the poor and for those who don't have access to health care. I think it's a family tradition. If we're not healthy, we're not going to get the most out of our education and we're not going to be the most productive citizens. And one of the reasons I am thrilled to be marching in CPPP's parade is because they are trying to awaken the conscience of this state to the inadequacies of our health care delivery system. When Seton determined that our strategic direction should be to go from being a single hospital to a regional health care system, she was the first person who was really a significant community leader to step up and say, I'll be part of that dream. She's always uh, seeking to do the right thing. She's very much dedicated to faith, family, and philanthropy. And so I think that sort of emanates uh, through in just about everything, or very much what all she does. It's this deep sense of caring about others, caring about her family, caring about her friends, but also caring about those who we're not as lucky. You know, sexual assault and domestic violence are um, issues that are cloaked in shame and secrecy. So being able to have someone willing to put these issues out in front of the public and speak to them very forcefully has been really important. She has served on virtually every board that does good work. Most of all, she just supports the general commitment commitments that her father had made to a more just and uh, equitable society. Lucy has always been a, a champion of her parents' legacy. She was involved when this library was inaugurated back in 1971, and she continues to be very involved today. The legacy of leadership of Lyndon Baines Johnson has got to be carried on by Lucy Baines Johnson and I think she's very much up to the task.